Thank you. Uh, good morning, uh, good afternoon, and good evening to all. And uh, I'm really happy to be here in this forum among uh, distinguished speakers and uh, participants uh, to talk about uh, digital uh, therapeutics. Healthcare uh, is becoming digital and uh, patients today are uh, more uh, empowered than ever before. And as a result, uh, digital health solutions have become the need of the hour. And when we say digital health, it encompasses various platforms and systems that apply technological solutions to um, enhance healthcare delivery. Now, digital health is basically uh, the, what we call as the umbrella technology, right? I mean, it has uh, multiple categories in it. And one of those categories under digital health is what we are talking today in terms of uh, digital therapeutics uh, under digital health solutions. Uh, digital therapeutics uh, basically provides um, evidence-based uh, software-driven th therapeutic interventions for prevention and management of uh, a medical disorder or disease. Uh, I'm sure you'll agree that it's a new category of medicine in itself, and uh, here it is the technology that aids in the curing process, and uh, it impacts the same way as other treatments too, including drugs. Now, digital therapeutics has caught a lot of attention in the last decade or so, and uh, it uh, sort of proposes to change the patient behavior and treat uh, medical conditions using a variety of uh, digital technologies. Now, having said that, there is still a confusion in terms of what it constitutes, right? Uh, um, I mean, there is no clear, there has been at least, I know that Digital uh, uh, Therapeutics uh, Alliance is now doing a great job, but at least, at least till now, there's been no defined criteria uh, that make it distinct from the simple uh, normalized, digitized version of uh, te uh, traditional therapeutics. So the main differentiation of uh, DTX is that it enables a more uh, sort of a personalized form of healthcare that uh, actively adjusts to the patient's uh, individual clinical needs. Now, our DTX is delivered via multiple platforms. You all know that, uh, including web, uh, smartphone uh, applications, uh, text messaging, uh, and it, it is done across boundaries and across time zones. And uh, what's more interesting is uh, that uh, DTX approaches the problem in a much more holistic way. Uh, it addresses uh, both physical as well as mental health aspects uh, that includes uh, both the cognitive and the behavioral perspective. Now, this approach makes uh, DTX solutions uh, more effective since it can be personalized to a specific patient. Now, while uh, DTX is still in a development stage, uh, the near-term goal, I don't want to say it as a long-term goal, but the near-term goal uh, is to utilize uh, AI ML systems to monitor and predict individual patients' uh, symptom data in an adaptive clinical feedback loop via digital biomarkers to provide a precision medicine uh, approach uh, to healthcare. Uh, and the global uh, the DTX market is uh, growing and it's expected to reach about 80 billion by 2027. And uh, with that gives a CAGR of about close to 25 or 20.5%. 20 and that's huge. Uh, while it has come a long way, at least in the developed economies, there is still a lack of awareness regarding uh, digital therapeutics in developing countries. And ironically, studies show that emerging markets are uh, anticipated to offer significant growth uh, uh, opportunities for their marketplace in the future. Uh, I was just reading a report, and the, as for the report, it estimates that the biggest applications uh, so far on uh, DTX has been uh, diabetes and weight loss. And um, shortly, uh, there could be other candidates which are going to jump in, which includes uh, the COPD or developmental disorders, or it could be post-traumatic PTSD and things like that. And uh, we also know that Express Scripts formulary uh, has already included digital products uh, uh, from uh, 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 from uh, do it well dog uh, well dogs or uh, long on and uh, omada health uh, uh, for uh, treating diabetes or hypertension or asthma and things like that the uh, global therapeutic market is uh, is uh, segmented into sort of categories i mean it could be based based on the application like the diabetes or obesity or cardiovascular diseases and things like that or it could be based on the technology uh, which is basically a hardware or software or a combined things and with so much variation, variations uh, just in the, uh, the digital therapeutics market, I'm actually happy to say that we have a great panel today. And each one of the distinguished speakers today have a very diverse background and it'll be a great to hear how they see their role of uh, digital therapeutics and how it is going to be playing uh, in their area in terms of near and long-term goals. And also how effective the adoption of acceptance from all their stakeholders are going to be, right? At Harman, we've been developing some uh, various solutions uh, for digital therapeutics for some time now, uh, right from supplementary behavioral therapy to uh, various solutions of medication adherence uh, from uh, modern patient reported outcome solutions or uh, being collecting, integrating uh, real world evidence data as a feedback to pharma companies. We've also seen a success of uh, varying degrees. 
And uh, we've seen that what we've observed is uh, the patients are excited to know more about their conditions, uh, participate actively in uh, decide to manage their uh, chronic conditions well. Now, the key is all uh, the situation is uh, in the situation is to provide the a simple, easy to use technology that can fit well uh, in their daily routine, right? I mean, uh, developing a, a compelling end-to-end -end user experience, uh, which is simple to use and understandable, and it cannot be complex. If it's complex, then the patients are not going to be using it, uh, no matter what the outcomes are going to be. And that's where our rich experience in terms of consumer technology, which is just what we have been used to all along, that comes in help for us, and we are able to find ways to increase uh, adoption and adherence uh, of uh, the users were providing coupling features uh, that the users want to use. We feel that the time is uh, now to use this uh, learning effectively in healthcare uh, to offer better solutions uh, to patients and engage them well. And I'm actually really excited to, uh, to see how this uh, unfolds to benefit everybody. The journey is exciting and uh, it's great uh, not just to witness it, but to participate in it and uh, building innovative solutions. So I'll stop here. Thank you very much for this opportunity. I'm really eager to listen to the panel of speakers in terms of what, short, uh, what thoughts they want to share. Thank you and back to you.